appearances can sometimes be deceiving. Bad idea, Mike. Bad. Yet at Seattle City Hall this afternoon, okay. the anger was palpable. Mr. O'Brien, it seems as though you are not acting in the best interests of the citizens of Seattle. When are the neighborhoods ever going to be a part of these so-called committees? What is your end game, Mike? People teed off on Seattle City Council member Mike O'Brien after King 5 first revealed Monday his draft ordinance to loosen regulations for derelict RV parking. Legislation which would allow, in its current form, RVs to park longer than 72 hours on city streets and public spaces. This ordinance is a major step in the wrong direction. It would basically exempt vehicles with people living in them from almost all of the health and safety laws of the city of Seattle governing vehicles on our streets. It came after O'Brien commissioned a vehicular living work group to study the issue. Yet two of the group's members have issued statements distancing themselves from the process, saying the recommendations and proposed legislation have serious concerns. Seattle's chamber has followed suit. O'Brien explained today he is seeking a change in enforcement and his legislation is still a work in progress. Uh, the intent of the legislation is to create an alternate enforcement path for folks that uh, voluntarily want to be part of a vehicular residence program. He avoided taking further questions today. However, his colleague, Councilmember Sally Bagshaw, perhaps sensing the tension this issue has aroused, tried to quell some concerns. We're nowhere close to a solution at this point. Yet with 40% of Seattle's homeless population living full-time in RVs, this is likely a topic that will continue to be top of mind at City Hall. O'Brien did say today that he plans on rolling out the official legislation as early as next week. We'll keep you posted. For now, live at Seattle City Hall, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.